Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today I just wanted to make a quick video on the Spectre Comp. I was having some issues feeding 115 grain, which seems to be a very common issue for this gun. And I have figured out why. Long story short, it is the recoil spring. So I've since then put a new recoil spring in this guy. And as you can see, and the gun's obviously rendered safe, no magazine, you guys saw it locked back. Uh, nor am I doing a trigger pull, but it is very, it runs like butter, which I really like. Um, it is much lighter. And the best part is it is actually a um, OEM recoil spring. So let me explain. And um, I will show you this new recoil spring that I have has fixed all my issues. It is still a captured system, so it's really easy to take out, clean, do everything that you need to do. It's been extremely reliable. This recoil spring has been through about uh, 3,500 rounds, no malfunctions whatsoever. 90% of the ammunition that has went through this recoil spring has been 115 grain, and it is very, very good to shoot. I can't notice any difference in recoil. Um, it is a little bit lighter, I've noticed, and I think that's just because it functions better. I don't think the actual recoil weight is any different. I think that the old one just didn't run as well. So be right back, I'm going to um, you know get this gun apart, and then we will um, continue with the video. Okay guys, so currently this is the recoil spring that I have in the gun, okay? And this is the recoil spring that came out of it originally. So big differences are this one is a single coil system and this one is a almost like an intertwined coil system. So it's got like, it's just almost like twisted up, looks like two uh, coils at the bottom there. I also notice when having them side by side, you can see right here, on the other one, the one at the top of your screen, the cylinder on the left-hand side is a lot larger. So as you can see, not a lot, but it's definitely larger. Um, and it just runs better. So, and you can see also the bottom of them is different. They're different shapes. So as you can see, I've got a lot more rounds for this one, the correct one. So um, it's got a little bit more wear on it. However, hasn't um, you know, holds up just fine, shoots everything, 115, 124, 147, anything you need. Um, I've only shot maybe a, maybe one magazine of uh, 147, a majority of the stuff I shoot is between 115 and I have hollows that are 124. Um, but, you know, and I've shot maybe 125, 175 hollows, I just don't like wasting those if I don't need to, so I don't really do a whole lot of them. However, a lot of people will tell you with the Spectre Comp to, um, change out the recoil spring and go for like, you know, some uncaptured system or something like that. Uh, your recoil springs are going to break in, especially with uncaptured systems. They're nice because you can uh, adjust spring weights. But the problem with that is, in my personal opinion, I don't know how they'll last after, you know, 10, 15, 20,000 rounds. There's a lot of people who claim to have 30,000 rounds on a recoil spring. Uh, being that this is not plastic, I do believe this will make it to 30,000 rounds. I will document it right now. I'm only, I'm just, I'm about 3,500, um, like I said, so I don't know how long it'll last, but I will document that. Interesting enough, and I find this really interesting. So this is the, the one that I replaced it with, and if you get on Sig Sauer's website and you look for a 3.9 inch recoil spring, because that's what the Spectre Comp comes with, um, this is all you'll find. So this is on their website. And I don't know why this ever came to even come in the firearm. Don't know. I've ordered another one. I actually took this one out of my M18. And because my M18 ran, ran flawlessly. And I put it in here and all my problems went away. No more stove piping, which is what this one was causing nonstop malfunctions. So it's very irritating. Um, even if it happens, you know, two or three times out of a 21 round magazine, it just, it just doesn't need to happen. So, and I'm a big believer in reliability and accuracy, obviously. So uh, I really like the Spectre Comp, I really like Trigger. Um, but I will tell you, this also made the gun a lot harder to manip manipulate. The slide felt a lot heavier, and it's honestly, there's no reason for it. And a lot of people say, well, have your recoil spring, you have less recoil. I can't personally tell any difference whatsoever. I am very happy that I bought this. Um, I actually bought this off of, it's an OEM SIG product. I bought it off eBay for like 40 bucks, and it's been 40 bucks shipped. And it's been the best 
upgrade I've done to the gun. It's ran flawlessly, reliably. I've had no issues. It makes uh, the slide feel like it, like you know, a step up from what it usually is. I'm not going to compare it to like a, a, a 2011, but it does feel nice like a 2011. It feels like a heavier staccato um, um, slide, if, if you know what a staccato is. Um, it's a, a, a very nice feeling 2011. Um, so I really do like it. It's just, it's obviously heavier. You're not going to be able to air rack this gun, at least not right away. Um, you know, or unless you go like uncaptured, like a, a like a X5 Legion uh, recoil system. But I like the capture. It makes it easier to clean, break down. If, the, if ever you're out and about and needed to work on something, last thing you want to do is break down your gun and your spring comes flying off or something and you're having trouble putting it back in. It's just so much easier to to deal with this um, immediately. So I do, I'm a big fan of the captured system. I will put the link in the description. And so we're um, all on the same page. I do not get any um, affiliation from them. I don't know who the guy is. I just have bought a couple from them. They've been great. Um, I actually bought another one for this gun, so I will be waiting for that to come in. I'll break it in um, and get this one, uh, get that other recoil spring ready to go. However, um, I have no affiliation with SIG whatsoever or anybody. I mean, my channel doesn't have very many subscribers yet, so I am very happy. We did get a subscriber last week, so I'm very happy about that, and I will continue trying to make weekly videos. If you have issues with 115 grain, go on the website or check out the description to get one of these, and this will fix all your problems. Now being able to fire whatever you want, I fired all sorts of 115 for normal, Blazer, PMC, um, Federal, I mean, you name it, all name brand stuff. I have, I will do an update on my MMP competitor. That gun is having tons of hate online.